All right, everybody. So I'm going to get your browsers running in tip top shape. All right. So we're going to clear out the caches. We're going to clear out the history. We're going to clear out the cookies. And I've got five other things that you might want to consider even before you do the actual reset of all those settings uh, within each of these browsers that I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over the, the Safari app, the Firefox browser, and the Chrome browser. So we're going to basically walk through getting those reset. They all get reset a little bit different way. Um, and then after I'm done with those, I'll walk through these five things that you might want to try beforehand. Right before you, uh, you know, some of them you might try beforehand, I should say. All right, so let's do Safari first. All right, so we got Safari up. Let's say Safari's running like crap. And I'm like, dang, man, this thing is just running like junk. So I want to go in and I want to reset this thing. So I'm going to open up settings. I'm going to scroll down to Safari. I'm going to scroll down a little bit to where it says clear history and website data. I'm going to click that. And then within there, it says that they're going to clear out the history, cookie and cookies and other browsing data, right? Also, any history will be cleared from devices signed into my iCloud account. Um, so if there's another Mac or something else that's signed in, it's also gonna clear the history on that. Uh, that's for Safari. So I'm actually not gonna click this because I wanna keep the data that I have in my Safari right now. I've got a lot of tabs open that I wanna use. So I don't wanna clear all that out. Um, so I'm gonna actually hit cancel and that's what you do for Safari. So let's go configure, uh, we'll actually do Firefox next. So let's say Firefox isn't working well and we're just kind of like, okay, we got to click this little hamburger down in the right hand corner. We're going to hit settings. Then we're going to scroll down to data management. Within there, what's kind of neat is I can click this website data and I can go in here and I can see all these websites that I've been to. So let's say I didn't want ampproject.org. I can just go delete the data for that. So let's say that website was acting funky. I could go delete the data for that and see if that actually fixed it when I go to the website again now. Um, or I can come back I can click clear private data. So we're going to run this to see if it clears out all of our website data as well. And it does. So you'll notice that clear private data cleared out all of the Firefox settings. So now Firefox should be in tip top sh shape as well as Safari, right? Because we reset both of those. Now we're going to do Chrome. So we open up Chrome and down in the right hand side, we got the three little dots. We're going to click on those and we're going to hit settings. And then we're going to scroll down to privacy. Within there, you've got clear browsing data. Click that. And within that, you can do browsing history. So I can uncheck that or check it. And I've got a little bit of flexibility with this as well. And at the very top, you're going to notice that mine says time range all time. By default, I believe it comes with either last hour or maybe it was 24 hours. Thought it was one of them smaller ones. So you're going to want to make sure that you check that and determine what you want. So I'm going to clear the browsing data. And boom, now my Chrome is in tip top shape. All right. So the five other tips that you're going to want to uh, possibly do before running a reset of the 
uh, resetting, clearing of the cache files, clearing of the history files, clearing of the cookies would be to one, reestablish all of your connections. So up at the top, pull down the control center, hit airplane mode so that it turns off both Wi-Fi and the cell connection. What this will do is allow the device to reestablish these connections when I un unclick the airplane. So now if maybe I had a little bit flaky connection, hopefully it can reestablish a good connection and I could check the browsing and see if it's working better, right? Um, then we've got, you always wanna make sure to restart the app, right? So to restart the app, pull up, swipe up, restart it, restart both Firefox and Chrome and see if that helps the app to load even faster, right? Uh, the other thing is that you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a, a proper amount of space on your device for apps to run. Um, you know, I've heard 10%, I've heard even crazy enough as 20% of the available storage on your device. So the size of your storage you should have probably 10% is what you should have. So if you've got a 128 gig iPhone, you know, then you want to have approximately 12, 13 gigs of space available on that device for the apps and the system to run. You know, um, it might do better with even more, right? but you don't really want to go much less than that because then you start really constraining the system, right? And forcing it to use swap and things like that that uh, don't run as efficient. Um, but, so make sure that you have proper amount of space. If you don't have enough space and you need to clear up some space, then go check out my video that is like, uh, uh, space issues on for iPhone reclaim your iPhone space I go through a bunch of different areas on how to clean up your iPhone right so go check that out um, another thing is make sure you reboot the device right a reboot always will help a bunch of different things clearing out memory and things like that so that'll help as well um, and then uh, Really the last thing would be is if you're still having problems after running through all that stuff, attempt to reinstall the app. Click down on the app, hold it down, click the little X, delete it all, go back to the app store and re-download that app. Um, other, you know, I, I can't imagine what else would, uh, would need to be done, right? If you have any tips on what you think could be done uh, for rectifying a, a you know browser issue on an iPhone, S stick it in the comments. I'd definitely love to hear uh, your guys' ideas as well. I hope you guys uh, like that video. Definitely get subscribed to the channel. Hit the little alert icon uh, so you get these videos and the updates. And uh, I. I absolutely appreciate you guys uh joining and and signing up for the channel and and following along uh this is fun so i'm enjoying it and i hope you are too and you guys have an awesome week take care happy holidays and i will chat with you next week you have a great week